So this video is for Colleen Minter. I had asked her if she could kindly just thoroughly explain what she's been receiving that she's been sharing in her past few videos because I feel like <clears throat> a lot of what she's getting is matches some stuff that I was receiving in April of last year. And I was just trying so hard to get it, what she was saying, but when the Lord gives us things like this that are so cryptid and complicated, it just goes over my head. And personally, like, it's me. Like, I'm the one that's not getting what she's saying. Um, I'm a simple girl. I'm a simple learner. I'm a visual learner. So these things are just so complicated and layered that it's just beyond me. But I could see... Like certain things she was saying, I was like, oh, that reminds me of what I got and this reminds me of what I got. So I just wanted to <clears throat> do this video to show her and you guys who want to watch um, what I got and how it matches what she's saying. And I'm not even going to attempt to try to explain anything that she's saying in her video. I'm going to leave the link to her video down below so you guys can go watch it for yourself because I would just butcher it but I'm gonna try my best. So um, this is from my dream journal last year. The first dream is from April 12th. Uh, it says, I had a dream of my husband's coworkers were bringing certain papers and food to us and leaving very quickly. And a lot of things in this dream seem to point to the time that we're in right now with this coronavirus pandemic. So, you know, dropping off food and leaving very quickly to me reminds me of like people being quarantined or on lockdown. There were Christmas decorations all over the house that I had left up and not taken down the previous year. And in the dream, it was currently real time, which, as I said, was April. The Lord gives me a lot of dreams about Christmas decorations, and I think he just shows that to me as symbolism of the rapture. Um, but for some reason in this dream, even though like the house was decorated, like all my Christmas decorations were up from the previous year and I never took them down. I left them up for some reason. I feel like there's something to that. I'm just not quite getting it. Uh, it says, I recall seeing a police officer taking medicine to support the immune system, which again, that just points to the time that we're in right now. I then was seeing a YouTube video about the rapture. There was something important about flowers. And up until today, this still never made sense to me. And I don't know if this is it or not, but in Colleen's video, she's showing, let me find it. She's showing how the Lord showed her in this dream I think she said it was the tree of life or a tree and the things that she's drawn there are flowers. She said he showed her these flowers that were blooming in a certain way. I don't know what the flowers were symbolic of. She may have said it. I'll have to go back and watch this probably several times. But she was saying how um, he told her also to flip the tree over and it would reflect the menorah which um, ties to something I'm seeing kind of a flipping or a reflection of in that I'll talk about in a minute. But she's saying he was showing her these flowers that were blooming. So I don't know if these are the flowers that were important in this dream or not, but I knew there was something important about flowers. And then people were excitedly shouting, Venus, Venus. So there was something that people were excited about regarding Venus. Like they were literally shouting at the top of their lungs in excitement, like jumping up and down excited. Also, I had been concerned about a little girl with me who I needed, I remember I needed to get her home before dark. And that, again, that ties into what Colleen is talking about. If you wanna understand anything I'm saying, you're just gonna have to go listen to her video because she explains it better. So that seems to match what she's saying here, that the Lord is showing her something about um, what's going on with Venus right now and about it being split down the middle, separating the light from the dark and him coming in the midst. 
It's a lot of symbolism, you guys. It's very, very layered. I understand it's very confusing, and I don't quite get it all myself, but it it seems like what I'm getting is matching what she's getting. So, um, and then I wrote, Venus is the bright and morning star, which is also what Jesus is called. So, um, Venus is representing Jesus coming. And then a few days after that, on April 21st, is when I received that word that time is off by 4, 5, 6. Um, which she's talking about, like I said, she explains it better. I'm not going to attempt to explain it, but the 4, 5, 6 here, she's saying that 4 is in the midst but it also reminds me of how I received, I heard three, two, one, lift off. So here's, it's kind of like a mirror image. So there's four, five, six, which was like a count up. And then three, two, one is a countdown. But it's kind of like they're mirrored or something. Like I said, I'm not quite getting it, you guys, but I feel like we're getting similar messages here. Um, and then a few days after that, on the 23rd, I had a dream where I was at my parents' house and I was looking out the back door and there was a tornado coming, which I know can be symbolic of storms, spiritual storms, um, physical storms on the earth and like, you know, it could be what's going on right now. Um, so a tornado was approaching and for some reason my friend was out there and her name is Annette Springer and I let her inside so I thought it was pretty random to put her in this dream, but I wondered if it wasn't something about her name. It could be pointing to spring, or her name is like a net, like a trap, a net, springer. I don't really know, but I just thought I would keep that in there. And then at the end of this dream, um, this is what I saw in the sky. I wrote, it appeared to be what looked like two half moons equally split down the middle, which again is exactly what she's talking about in her video. I kept saying, this is the two moons everyone is dreaming of. The rapture is happening, but nothing had happened yet. The dream said it was dusk and day was turning to night, which also goes along with what Colleen talks about in her video. And then I remember a news anchor saying something about how this whole thing would be symbolic of Jesus coming back at night because it would be symbolic of the idea of Jesus being put to bed. I know that's a mouthful, but the, when you say you're putting something to bed, that basically means that you're doing away with the idea of something, like you're washing your hands of the whole thing and just not doing it anymore so what I got from that was just that people aren't thinking about Jesus coming back anymore I don't remember but I had done videos about all of this last year and when I shared that I somebody had commented that they had received the same thing um, where they were getting something about Jesus being put to bed so I'm not too sure what that's about but this is what I saw in the dream it looked like two moons it could have been moons it could have been venus it could have been a planet i really don't know the dream didn't say what it was i just knew i was looking up at it and obviously like the first thought that's going to come to my mind is this is um two equally half moons and they were just like this they were side by side but they were kind of off kilter from each other and it was like um, I remember saying that it reminded me of like a friendship necklace where you have to put the two pieces, the two half pieces together to form a whole. And it was kind of like you'd have to, it was like doing a puzzle where you'd have to take that last puzzle piece and kind of finagle it together to fit in correctly. That's what this reminded me of. So just the two halves being separated and not being whole like in the dream when I saw this I was like this is the two moons that means the rapture is happening but nothing was happening yet in the dreams where the rapture is happening it's always two full moons so they're they're full in this dream they were cut down the middle 
So like I said, it's I'm, I almost get something from it, but I'm not quite there yet. I just wanted to share these things because all of it seems to go with what Colleen is talking about in her video. So um, I don't know if she subscribed to my channel or not. So if you're friends with her on here, please um, send this to her. I did comment on her video and let her know that I would be making this video, but like I said, I don't know if she even is subscribed to my channel, but I feel like she would probably appreciate this confirmation. I hope I did a good enough job explaining what I saw. Maybe it'll make more sense to her how it matches what she's getting, but I tried. So, all right, guys, I'll talk to you later.